Hello, 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 hello. Phone on silent. There we go. Good boy. Hello, everyone. Um, so, everybody's gone to the rapture. I had this on the PS4. Um, so a couple of years ago I played this. And I can't remember much of it at all. I remember it was gorgeous and going, there's a village that you get to explore. Um, and it's about the rapture. Um, but that's about all that I can remember of it. So I'm sort of going in, not blind, but squinty. Um, I really can't remember much of it at all. So uh, let's have a little play along today and welcome along and let's go and have some fun. Oh, it's not too loud. It feels kind of loud in my ear. Hopefully it's not. My green screen is loving is all the Collins. blue. Oh, we're in. I don't know if anyone will ever hear this. It's all over. I'm the only one left. Yes, please. I'm going to continue to broadcast for as long as I am able. If I'm right, you should be able to pick up the signal right across the valley. The event has left markers. We don't understand it yet, but we're going to keep working to try and understand it. You can use them to find what you're looking for. The answers, they're all here. The answers are in the light. Where's that coming from? Gorgeous. Right, what's... where are we? Yorton? Yorton? Yorton. Just under Tipworth Forest. Oh, it's gorgeous. is a special announcement by the Emergency Measures Committee. Due to exceptional circumstances, radio and television in this area has been brought under the control of the EMC as per the Crisis Preparedness and Action Bill of 1982. Keep your radio and television on at all times. Stay indoors and avoid contact with other people. <clears throat> oh. Some light up there. Oh, it's like a ripple of some like little ripples in the air.
I'm trying to do my job. You two will be the only staff on site for this rotation. I'm just saying, if the main gate's power fails, then there's no way in or out of the observatory. That's why there are backup generators. Jesus, why the hell are we even discussing this? Just don't you come running to me if you get locked in. If we get locked in, we won't be able to come running to you, will we? You let us worry about the clever stuff, and you can concentrate on sweeping up leaves and changing light bulbs. Happy? Now piss off. Ah, so... That was unnecessary. Just because you're angry with me doesn't mean you have to take it out on everyone else. Kate, can we just talk about this? No. Steven, I'm done. I just want to get out of this place, and tonight is our best chance of doing that. You prep the arrays, I'm heading up to Tower 6. Kate. I love you. You know that, right? Yeah, I know that. Come on, let's get started. Didn't say it back though, did she? Oh boy. Haverton Road. <clears throat> oh no. Wrong way. Shouldn't really be walking in the road, should I? Eh? There we go. And please drive carefully. These little English villages are so gorgeous. Okay, I see it. on yourself. We've all had rejections. You haven't. <laughs> Come on. We'll look at the figures, tighten up the data, and resubmit. Your core idea is sound. You just got the numbers slightly wrong. <laughs> Don't patronize me. I'm not patronizing you. I think you are a brilliant man, Dr. Appleton. 
Listen. I'm here, right? We're together, you and me. The alignment event tomorrow. It's yours, okay? You saw the opportunity, you ran the numbers. Even if they can't see it. I'm proud of you. Is that supposed to make me feel better? See you then. Look on the bright side, I'm around here. <laughs> You're a hero. Prodigal son returns, right? <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't erected a statue in your honor yet. <laughs> oh, you can laugh all you want. But I'll bet the parish council have a subcommittee working on that right now. <laughs> Oh, I went dark. Emergency meetings. It's in Shropshire. My neck of the woods when I grew up. Shropshire. Can't remember what the name for this guy is. He was the. He got really popular during the war time. There's a figure you'd see. Can't think what his name is. The bus stop. The six, the six, and the eighty-four. See where they went though. Oh, here we go. Telling me to go inside? I think this means go inside, I think. Into number three. Hello? Oh, Amanda, I thought you'd left town. We tried. We did try. But they've closed all the roads and we can't get through. And, and then Georgie and Ben said they had headaches. And then they started bleeding. And... It was horrible. They were so scared. So Neil turned the car around and... Um, we saw the house was open and I know we shouldn't have but we just came in to clean up the kids and and then Neil and I started bleeding as well and it is all over my blouse and everyone was so tired it's alright Amanda everything will be alright just try and calm down and tell me where Neil and the children are they're upstairs they were tired and Neil said they could take a nap in the bed and yeah, we thought Barbara wouldn't mind if there were any children, and, and I was so tired, so Neil took them up, he took them upstairs to tuck them in. And? That was six hours ago. Oh, God. 
never came back down. It's a bit too frightened to go and look. Why don't we go and look together? I can hold your hand if you like. <laughs> yeah. I think I could manage that, yes. Will you please help me? Of course I'll help you. Neil? Neil, are you there? Oh, God. Was the bedroom, wasn't it? Oh, gosh. Well, this is getting me already, so that's good. Also, this TV was just like the TV I had when I was a kid. And it didn't have a remote control. I'm showing my age, obviously. It didn't have a, um, a remote control or anything. Big look at the size of it. In those days, if a TV fell over, it would take out half the house. Look at that. Good lord. Nice lilies. Oh boy, okay. Big start. Right, I can see that's zooming up the road. I really want to go and check that pub out, but hopefully, I get to come back. I got here foxgloves, maybe sort of roses ish. Lovely. Um, it went up here, didn't it? Oh, there's one over there. Look. Which way do we go over to that one? This would be, um, this would be really something in VR, wouldn't it? Where did it go? I lost it. did come over here, didn't it? Number eight's locked. Oh, there it is, look. I got you, I got you, I got you.
visual and auditory distortions are becoming more frequent, along with mild convulsions to the left side, all of which support a preliminary diagnosis of intracranial hypertension, occurring as a result of a substantial and rapidly expanding tumor, originating, I believe, within the hypothalamus. Cognitive functions are currently unimpaired, aside from this crippling headache. Hemorrhaging is becoming more frequent, with darker clots passing through the nasal passages primarily. I believe I am dying. This is certainly not flu or anything else I have ever encountered. And certainly a tumor cannot expand this rapidly. In the blood clots, I see tiny flakes of what looks almost like, if I had to try and find a description, liquid light. I cannot explain this phenomenon. Getting these brain hemorrhages causing massive nosebleeds. There's so much to explore. I don't know where to go. Oh, hello. You can only move at walking speed, and literally the only button I've got is X, which does like open doors, turn things on, does everything. Here we go. Another house to have a look at. Oh, look at the easel. What were they painting? Oh, good job. Oh, wrong house. <laughs> so pretty. Apart from all the blood, obviously. from the main road. Not many people are moving around now. I was looking for Dr. Wade. Listen, Frank. I don't know what's happened, but your Stephen seems to think he's responsible. <sighs> I reckon he is. He said, uh, that Kate's still up at the observatory, but the gates are locked. Frank, there's going to be a rescue soon, I'm sure of it. They'll send planes or something. Well, they'll send planes, all right. This pattern of his, we're in the center of it. Which means if they intend to stop it, we're right in the firing line. Is that Jeremy's dad? So Kate's up at his observatory and Jeremy's blaming himself for all this. I 
that stuff. Like a shop or something where that is. Let's go and have a look. What kind of date are we looking at for this? 90s? Get out of my way. Where's Kate? Where do you think she is? Stephen, what's going on? Screw Kate. It's all her fault anyway. What's that mark on your face? Stephen! Stephen! Hold on, I want to look at this shop. Maybe that wasn't Jeremy's dad, maybe that was Stephen's dad. What are you doing? I saw you, I saw you doing that. Stay away from me, don't come near me. This is people's property, you're scaring them. It's all over the village, it's got into everything, it's so fast. What are you talking about? It's travelling down the wires. Oh, God, man, you lost your mind. Where is Kate? What have you done with her? Don't you understand? It's breaching the quarantine and adapting. Give me that bloody can. Hand it over, Appleton. No, get off. No, Sam, stop it. You weedy little shit. It's Give mine. Give me the can. Give me the can. Fucking grow up! Fuck. Oh, God, no. It's starting to manifest itself everywhere. Stephen, come back. Oh, Christ. We're still here then. I should have expected that. Come on then. Let's get this over and done with. I've got my parishioners to attend to.
Their line. It's gone out through all the earth. And their words to the end of the world. In them. Had he set a tabernacle for the sun. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. <clears throat> oh, it's like started a whole new chapter. Oh, there's so much I didn't see back here, though. I really wanted to see, like, the pub and stuff. Okay, I have to go back, because... That leads us out to the village. I miss loads of stuff. But we know the way to get to Wendy. I think I can go back now. Oh, that's a real shame if I don't get to go back into the village. Hmm, that's a shame. Maybe I'll get to come back in a little bit. Bluebells are out. Can you just listen to that forever? 
maybe not that weird rapture sound, but how do I get over this? Hello. You do look ever so drawn this morning. That bloody dog kept me awake. And there was that thing in the sky. The radio says it was an electrical storm, but I don't know what it was. This morning, I found some dead birds in the garden. I'm sorry to hear that. I wonder if it might have had something to do with the atmospheric conditions. My Stephen will probably know. I'll give him a call in a bit. Stephen Wendy, again. I've popped around because we've had some incidents with some of the more elderly residents. Mrs. Bowton has, well, vanished, for want of a better word. Wandered off somewhere, no doubt. I thought I'd best check and see you're all right. The council are talking about a flu epidemic. Yes, well, I'm not sure it's flu as such. But uh, no headaches... Nosebleeds, no joint pains or digestive issues. Dr. Wade, I'm as fit as a fiddle. Go and find some real sick people to look after. And if you see that son of mine, tell him that his mother's looking for him. This wallpaper. Good Lord. Shed. Spare table, obviously. I can't do that. Wendy's back garden is gorgeous. Look at all these bird tables. Little gazebo. An inoculus. Watch the birds. Oh, Wendy. Oh, this game's got me on edge. Okay. <clears throat> Flutter buyers. Head down here. Ah, there it is. Look, we're going the right way. God, I can almost like smell this village.
Oh. oh look, we've moved up out of Yorton. Now we're on the edge of Tipwood Forest. Okay. Ooh, treehouse. Going away, Amanda? Oh, just for a few days, yeah. First thing in the morning. I don't want the kids to catch this flu if it's going round. It's probably that father, Jeremy, spreading it around while he tries to bully everyone into donations for the summer fete. It seems very quiet in the village, actually, Wendy. Not much bullying to be done. Oh, father. <clears throat> I didn't know you were here. Clearly. Listen, I came up here to tell Amanda that we've had some vandalism in the village. Must be a teenage thing. Tagging, I think they call it. Someone's painting all over doors and things. Little vandals. Well, I'll tell Neil to make sure we're properly locked up when we go. A good man like my Eddie, gone. And these thugs and yops running around defacing property. He gave everything to his country, and look what he got in return. Nothing but an early death. He had a good life, Wendy. He had a short life. I look to my birds, father. Lives lived unencumbered, free and simple. That's as God meant things to be. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Ooh, we can climb up here. Every computer in the observatory has set itself to 6.07 a.m. June 6th, 1984. I don't understand what that means. So it set itself to 1974. I know that thing saying go up the road, but. Great picnic spot. Mm. I've come back a different way, haven't I? Well, let's see where it goes. There's foxgloves everywhere. Can I get them to grow in my little garden? Tell him a phone.
Is that when? No, that's not when. Is that's another house, isn't it? A more lived-in house, I think. I'll say that is. Where's that little phone coming from? Terry called this morning. Said there was a problem with Harvey. Said he couldn't get through to the vet, so I said I'd come round and take a look. There's a lot of dead birds today. More here, too, poor little things. I've been trying to get hold of Steve, and he always knows okay, what look to here do. They are. Got round here, and no sign of either of them. With any luck, the stupid creature will have run under a car. It's probably rabies. Hmm. Look at all these birds. Tipworth Woods. Harvey! Harvey, come on, boy! Come on, Harvey! Oh, come they've on, lost Harvey. the dog. Come on, boy! Harvey! Harvey. You push it. I told you it would get stuck. I should have just taken the car. This was a stupid idea. <laughs> Moving here was a stupid idea. And I told you, Barbara said they've blocked the roads. <laughs> you go and look then. Wait, is that Harvey? Harvey? Harvey! Harvey! Here, boy! Come here, boy! Married. You have to stop this. He's still sweet on you, Elizabeth. He, he left. It's too late. You loved each other long before she came along. It's just about making things as they should be. Wendy, no. It's not like you won't bump into each other anyway. One <laughs> drink, what can that hurt? <sighs> one drink, maybe. Oh, one <laughs> drink, wonderful. Wendy, you little tinker. Where are we now? Other side of Tipworth Forest. By Tipworth Gorge. Okay. Okay, we're coming, we're coming. 
like a dog in this thing. from Steven. He wants to shut down the receiver. Something about instances across the valley. There's intermittent electrostatic discharges radiating out of Tower 6. All of the electrics on the main gate are blown. I'll find time to take a look once the data stream begins to calm down here. Bloody birds. I can't see him. Should we go down? Just leave it. We've got to keep moving. Sean! We can't just leave him. He must be really badly hurt. Jesus, Diana, we've got the kid in the car. We should just keep driving. We can't just drive off and... Look! Oh, jeez. He's there. He's in the car. Oh, oh, he's hurt. We've got to get down there. I said, leave him. We've got to get out of the valley while we can. Oh my god, he's trying to undo his seatbelt. There we are. He's fine then. Come on, love. Come on. Come on. Oh. It's stuck. Gosh, look at that, that branch. Good Lord, did that go right through him? We can go in the water. Jesus, look at that. They found that dog. Not really. Hey, morning ravens, better. She hasn't missed that much at all. It's me walking around this village and not knowing what's going on, really. Um, well, it certainly seems like they've all they've been getting these. Um, brain hemorrhages and nosebleeds and we're just kind of catching little glimpses and bits of different people's stories but um well you'll see Um, yeah, we had a little walk around the village. Um, everybody's missing. Seems like they've been getting these uh, massive brain hemorrhages. And that's all we know so far.
Howard, what's happened? Stephen, thank God. Listen, I need you to get to the junction box. See if there's a phone working. No, stay back. Don't come up here. Oh, Christ. Is that... Bloody idiot. <coughs> Where the hell did they think they were going? I think they must have thought they could walk out along the line. Well, there won't be any more trains now. You're a callous bastard, Stephen. Just pragmatic, Howard. Did you say there's a working phone in the junction box? I lost my shoes. Jesus. I lost my shoes, sir. There's arches on the green. They've taken my shoes, sir. Howard? Howard Lantham! You open the door this instant, young man. I lost my shoes. <sighs> now get up. Get up. I lost my shoes. What on earth are you doing here, Howard? Stephen. He told me to stay in case Lizzie phoned. Stephen, where is he? What are you doing with those birds? Concentrate, Howard. Where's Stephen? He said we couldn't help them. He took my shoes so I'd stay. Listen to me, Howard Lantham. You find your shoes and you get to the village. Find Father Jeremy. He'll give you some soup or something. Be off with you. Where are you going? I'm going to find my son. Then I'm going to ask him what on earth he thinks he's doing. This lady's name is Wendy, who we're sort of following. She's been trying to track down her son. Oh, look at these birds. <clears throat> Kiniston's Pond. There was something here, wasn't there? seeing you here. Oh. Is everything all right, my dear? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm all right. I'm all right. It's just... Robert. <laughs> that man doesn't deserve you. I know everybody thinks I'm just a mither and old busybody, but someone has to say what everyone else is thinking. We both know that this marriage, it's not how things are supposed to be. Are you talking about me and Robert? Or is this really about Stephen and Kate? I suppose it is. I have to accept it, I know. But she doesn't belong here. You see that, don't you? There's a place for people, and this isn't hers. Oh. But I'm not talking about the colour of her skin. Don't look at me like that. What they do up there? It's not natural. There are some things we're not supposed to understand. I don't like her. 
and I don't like how Stephen is around her. He was a better man when he was with you. Uh, no, I haven't played that. Is it um, is it a good game that you think Carter won? Gosh, I'm right on edge. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe um. Maybe that's a good one to add to my um, to my list then, eh? To give um, give that one a go. I don't think this is long either. Rachel, darling, I'm sorry about taping over your music, but we, that is your dad and I, in case you come home, I mean, I know Mrs. Graves is looking after you over there, but just in case you come home, we wanted to let you know we're going to head over to Barb's. Evie! Evie! Sam, I'm leaving a message for Rachel, are you going to say hello? Jesus Christ, Evie, we ain't got time for this. The bloody car won't start, we're going to have to walk. Sam, shush, it's for Rachel in case she comes back here. But Charlie says everyone's getting together at the hall. Rachel's at the camp, she'll be fine. Rachel, darling, anyway, listen, as I was saying, we're going to be at the village hall. We'll wait there for you. I think it's best if you just stay put and mind what Mrs. Graves tells you. We love you, darling. Bye. You finished? Right, grab that bloody case and let's get moving. Come on. Oh, a beautiful house. Can we go in? Oh no, sorry, hold on a minute. What remains of Edith Finch? Yeah, I've literally just played that game. What am I talking about? Um, Ethan Carter, yeah, Ethan Carter's the one I haven't. You might stream Edith Finch again. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I'm back on the same page. Wendy, Wendy, wake up. Eddie. You're scaring me. Is that you? No, it's me. It's Frank. Oh, Frank. The door was open. I didn't think Graham would mind. I'm sure he won't. What are you doing here? Looking for Stephen, but I just ran out of steam. And the door was open. Have you listened to the radio? I thought I heard him on the radio before. It's all over the valley. Don't you get that? This isn't some abstract thing. Whatever came down into the tower has got out. They've quarantined the whole valley. It's right here in the observatory. It's out in the world. It's adapting and spreading. Do you understand? No, we can't turn it away. What's he talking about? I don't know, But if he's on the radio, I can try and reach him on the CB. You go to Stephen's house, and if I get hold of him, I'll tell him to come and find you. We need to find his house. Where's that coming from? It's from the back garden, I think. Look at all these beehives. There's something in the observatory with me. I can feel it reaching out to me. When it's close, 
I'm overcome with the most profound sense of loneliness. This music is killing me. Thing. Jesus! Come on, not now! Jesus, come on, you bastard! Start! Start, you bastard! Come on! Gah. Did a naughty word where you even better was. <laughs> Stephen. Stephen, are you here? It's your mother. Answer me. Stephen! This was Stephen's house, wasn't it? Beautiful tiles. Stephen, where is Kate? Are you here? Stephen? I can hear the planes. It's the government coming to rescue us. You can come out now. It's all going to be all right. I can hear the jets coming. It's like when Eddie came home. It's like your dad coming home again.
<clears throat> Poor Wendy. That's all we know. Appleton's farm, Frank Appleton. Some folk won't let go of this, and they've got nothing better to do than to poke their noses into other people's business. There's nothing you can do about it, son. I'm doing a good job. I'm working hard. I swear, Mrs. Graves thinks I'll start nicking stuff if she turns up back for a second. This is all right. She's one of the good ones. Yeah, well, she's not exactly honest with her husband about what she gets up to. None of that. You're angry about people judging you. Don't be so fast to judge others. I'm sorry, Frank. Keep your gob shut, your nose clean, and your head down. Do you think you can manage that? Gob. Nose. Head. Got it. And stay clear of that Rachel girl. If I've seen you two making eyes at each other, then so's her dad. And you don't want Sam Baker coming round after you. Now, pass me that socket spanner and we'll see if we can get this wheel back on. Can you see the observatory from there? That's over the ridge, just past the windmill. Oh. You want to live near Sorry? the station in case you need a quick getaway? Something like that. So you and Stephen, I'm sensing there's not a lot of love lost there, huh? That's between him, me, and the caves. You're gonna have to explain that one for me. It's nobody else's business. Look, you seem all right to me. You don't want to worry about that lot in the village. Provided I'm left alone, I'm happy. Stephen's the one who likes to be at the center of things. <laughs> no change there, then. <laughs> Francis Appleton. You are a bad man. No wonder your sister won't talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> It's, um, it's absolutely gorgeous, yeah. Yeah. Where do you want me to go? You're going to go backwards, aren't you? I 
know how you're leading me. Oh, okay, I'm back. <clears throat> that Wendy one got me a little bit. You're in and out. What have we learned so far? Um, but this particular story that we're on with Frank, nothing yet. Oh, hello. Under the microscope, you could see how the light was following the cellular structure of its wings. The neural simplicity of the insects seems to prevent a full blown infestation, so there's none of the hemorrhaging I'm seeing in the birds. But Stevens, wrong. This isn't an attack, it's a byproduct of the attempt to communicate it's getting smarter it's learning as it adapts I'm confident of a breakthrough soon um, so we're on Frank now yeah literal hemorrhaging um, that's interesting a fallout of communication. Autumn Pond. Breaker, Breaker 9, call in on 9. This is Lost Cowboy looking for anyone out there. Hello? Breaker 1-9. Breaker traveling Sherlock. Charlie, you out there? Over. My, my Hello? family, my, my wife and kids. Yeah, I'm perfectly well what you've got to do. I can't do it. Don't ask me to do it. You're asking me to sign their death warrant. My own family. Damn it, don't you think I'm aware of that? I'll still be here when you drop the fucking stuff. No. Don't you lecture me about no. sacrifice, you, you stupid, of shit. stupid bastard. If you're so full of ideas, you come here and try dealing with it. Tell them the time when we had a choice is over. Tell them to do it. You've got to do it now. Wade called me in about six weeks after, once he thought I could cope with knowing. Can I ever repay you for what you did? She was a good woman, Frank. The best. 
You should come back to church. Back to the community. You're missed. I hate him, Father. I can't get down on my knees and pretend otherwise. And I don't understand why you don't hate him, too. I try my hardest not to, Frank. It goes against the job description somewhat. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for. The conviction of things not seen. We have to trust him. Even when his methods are hidden from view. Maybe see you on Sunday. hung up on Stephen. He doesn't understand. Even if he were here to experience it directly, I'm still not sure he would. <clears throat> there has to be a way of consolidating, of offering reciprocal amplification to the signal. that little bridge up here <laughs> I'm afraid the numbers oh hello I'm afraid the uh, numbers aren't going anywhere I'm afraid Whose house is this? Is this Frank's? Yeah, number stations are creepy. I think mean, you're right, like over... Throughout history what they've been used for, yeah. Oh, no. How's your sister, Frank? We've not spoken since the funeral. Ah, I see. Well, uh, listen, I, I, I did rather wonder if you might do me a bit of a favour and check in on her, see if she's alright. Dr. Wade. If they dropped the bomb, there'd be no left but cockroaches and Wendy Boyles. It's a bit odd, really. There's an old chap, John Coles, regular visitor at Lakeside, went walkabout sometime last night. Now it appears Mrs. Boughton has done the same. Enid? Well, that'd be clever. They amputated her leg last spring. <laughs> yes, that's the thing. I've also got a surgery full of people with nosebleeds and headaches the council are saying influenza, but I've been practicing for 35 years and I'm not convinced. I just wondered if you might pop by and see her. Even if I did, do you really think she'd let me in? Fine. Forget it. I'll see her. Leave it to me. Oh, and Frank, call the hospital and get them to collect all this stuff. It's been eight months. I knew that was his wife's stuff. Oh, gosh.
hear something still back here. Where is it? Jesus, Frank. Telescope and Tower 6 is burned out. The background radiation coming in from the Penrose region is off the scale. It's like mathematics is bending along with the light. Everything is bathed in a strange glow. My face is still numb from the burn. Um, I don't know about a virus. I think it's, um... It's the results of whatever's going on at the observatory, which seems to be like this divine communication type of thing. Um, but maybe the virus is like a... a fallout of it? Which way am I supposed to be? Well, that's the tree that we came by. Okay, I'm lost. Do we go this way, maybe? Oh, I can hear it. Show me the way. Just stop the train, stop people travelling about the place. I don't like it, Frank. I don't like it at all. Well, nobody likes it. No sense sweating cobs over it. Yeah. Frank all riled about it, giving me grief. I didn't stop the bloody trains, did I? And did they give me any warning? No, they bloody didn't. Yesterday, it's all like keep them calm, Howard. Minor disruptions. And today, it's all government edicts and not until further notice. And you'll manage. Half the village has vanished. It's a couple of people. It's hardly half the village. Oh, right now. You forget, I've seen things. I was in the Falklands. I tell you, I got out the old air raid siren to test it this morning. Air raid siren? What on earth are you going to do with one of those? I found it in the station storeroom. Took it home, stuck it under the bed. Thought it might be worth something one day. Oh, damn it! It's all right. It's just a nosebleed. Here, use my Yankee. It's clean. Oh, thanks, Frank. Thanks. Been getting like a bloody drain all day. Guys are getting darker. How's this, Graham? Morning, Frank. You look a little out of breath. What's up? Bloody observatory gates have failed. I came to see if I could borrow a ladder. Bloody hell, there's a 12 foot drop the other side of that wall. I'm old, but I'm not useless, no. And I borrow the ladder. No one said you were useless. Reese? Hi, Frank. Let's go in the ladder, will you, lad? It's round the side of the barn. Will do. And you be careful. I don't want Stephen Appleton coming mithering round here because you've broken your neck.
Hi! I want to work with you! Jeez! What the bloody hell are we doing? What are you up to? Get out of my way. This is important. You've been with Lizzie. You mess with her, I'll knock your bloody block off. I son. need to track the pattern. It's critical. What are you talking about, Stephen? People are sick. Birds are dying. My cows are dead. Where's Kate? Still up at the tower for all I know. I could recalibrate the radial coordinates on the primary oscillators. If that holds up... Stephen, where's Kate? What's going on? Just keep out of my way. So see, Stephen still thinks it's a, an attack, while Kate thinks it's communication. Them yesterday. I checked them last night on the way back and they were fine. I woke up this morning and the whole lot had gone. Tell me, Charlie, have you heard any birds today? Well, I've not really been paying any attention. That sister of mine reckons they're dropping out the sky all round the Reekin. And Dr. Wade reckons there's sick folk all over the village. Meg said not to bother trying to get deliveries out. Said the quarantine in the whole valley. <laughs> I reckon it's best we just sit it out. It'll all come right, Frank. This'll all come right? Yeah, right. I am sorry about your cows, Frank. But when things settle down, they'll see you all right. There's got to be provision for this sort of thing. You want to listen to the radio more? Things don't seem like they're settling down at all. I tell you, Charlie, something big is happening. Oh, poor cows. Right, up the road to that car. And there's something over at that barn, I think, as well. Maybe cow, then barn. Cow, car. There you go. Oh, thanks, Frank. That should get it out of the way. I don't know what happened. It just died on me. Give it another go. Oh, I only just put petrol in it as well. Robert's taken the other car into town. I wish he'd get back. He promised me that he'd be back this morning. You think he's off on another bender? Oh, I can't police him all the time, Frank. He's not a child. What's going on, Lizzie? Nothing. You're seeing Stephen again, aren't you? You two can't keep pithering on like this. If Robert hasn't already worked it out, he soon will. Oh, not if he carries on drinking the way he is. Shit. Pardon my French, but bloody shit thing. Why won't it start? Come on, I'll give you a lift.
got the telescope up and running again, but the pattern has burnt itself onto the lens. It's soaking up light and radiation, but not routing it anywhere. So I can only guess that it's using it as an energy source in its attempts to communicate. It needs more power. I wonder if I could boost the reception by using multiple towers. Take stop! Keep back, you bastard. I know what you've done. Where's Lizzie? Where is she? I've got to find her. You stay away. Someone's got to warn them. Someone's got to stop it. You can't stop it. You have to understand. You hate me, I get that. But if we don't do this, it's not just the valley, it's everything, Frank. It's all gone. You're talking bollocks. You can't stop it! Jesus! You take one step closer, I'll bash your bloody skull in, I swear to God! All right, all right. I'm going. But if you see Lizzie, tell her to get out. There's still time. Please, Frank, for her, not me. If you're that bloody caring, you can save her yourself. Don't you get it? I have to stay. Someone has to be here to confirm that everyone is dead. Hmm. Did I do these slightly out of order before? Oh, I see something up by the windmill, I think. It's a horrible, horrible noise, isn't it? Never been a good siren. That's what your tornado siren sounds like. You have a tornado siren?
Aí, beleza. My name is Frank Jacob Appleton. And if you're listening to this, then maybe Stephen was right. And by sending the planes, he stopped it all getting worse. It's a beautiful morning. I wasn't there when Mary died. I was too scared. So I went to the pub instead. What will be, will be, Frank, she said. And I just want you to face it with me. And I didn't. But I will now. I will face it with you now, Mary. They're coming. Do one more, would you, Lizzie? Uh, you're in a hot spot for tornadoes, had a record breaker come through already this year. It was a mile wide, it was on the ground for five miles. Goodness gracious. Uh, it's something we just don't get in in the UK, you know. We just, um, we get, speak of the devil, it rains every day. Oh, look at the rain, that's great. Uh, it rains all the time and it's a bit windy and miserable, but um, we're pretty safe from kind of freak. Um, how quickly the ground's changed to wet. Uh, we're quite safe in kind of freak, um, or to us, freak weather uh, situations like that. Um, which I'm very thankful for. This is great! 
Lizzie, Mrs. Graves! Rachel? Hey, what on earth's going on? It's been awful. The thunder and the lightning, and all the power went out. And everyone was in the hall, so I told them all to stay put. And then Sean, Sean Davis said he wasn't going to be told what to do by a stupid bloody girl and went out for a cigarette. And then Dick come back. And then Di, she went out after him and she didn't come back but either. Where is Dylan? Was he with Sean and Di? No, I've been looking after him. Do you think they'll come back? I, I don't know, Rachel. I don't care what anyone thinks. I just know if he was my baby, I could never leave him. Even if the whole world was coming to an end, I'd make sure he came first. You'd be a good mum, Rachel. Oh, don't worry. It's fine. Go, go back inside and tell everyone that they're doing a great job. A really wonderful job. I just got a few things to finish up here, and then I'll come in and join you. Right. Go on. Um, yeah, well, you're welcome to come here. It's just, um, it is a bit grey. A lot. Um, the south is better. It's a little bit brighter. Peter Pan rehearsals tonight. Ooh, look, what have they got? Lakeside Hall Holiday Camp. Breakfast every day, 8 o'clock. Oh, bingo. Couldn't quite read what that was saying. Bingo. Kayaking. Tennis. Peter Pan rehearsals. And then a knobbly knees competition at 7 p.m. Show your dad up here. Lizzie and Robert. So Lizzie and Robert run the campsite. Okay. Tornadoes turn the sky green. I mean, that's got to be a little bit cool, right? Although I suppose it would also, if you know it's about to be a tornado, then probably no. It's probably incredibly frightening. Weren't you listening to the radio? Because of the flu. There is no flu, Lizzie. Oh, Christ, Stephen, I'm not stupid. Of course there's no flu. But the stations are still closed. There's an access footpath that runs alongside the main tunnel. You can get out that way. They won't have thought of it. You know what's going on, don't you? You can't use the phone anymore. What, well, like you're not using one right now? Funny. Listen. Just don't use the phone after this. No TV or radio either. It can hide in the signal. Oh, you make it sound like it's alive. I don't think we have a word for what it is. Just promise me. Don't tell anyone. Pack quietly. Meet me at the station tomorrow, all right? I feel awful lying and leaving all these people here. It was a brilliant idea about the show. Top marks for that, you clever thing. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, yeah, they sound terrifying, mate. They really do. Um, we all lose our minds when it gets really windy out. And you see a trampoline going down the road. That's our big weather. Oh god. Oh this is what they dropped, look. They dropped gas bombs. Jesus. Yeah, drop bombs was, I think, the government's response to this sort of outbreak because they were thinking it's this horrible 
because they're thinking it's this horrible virus. Um, they drop bombs to uh, stop it in Yorton. 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 It's raining again. Yeah, outbreak. I know. It's um, shockingly familiar, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Oh, here it is behind us. Is it? Miss like a little, uh, there's an interaction somewhere. Yeah, we have missed it, haven't we? Where is it? Oh, out in the rain again. Ah, there, there, there. Boy, Shipley, I want to work with you. What? Get over here, soft lad, and keep your voice down. Soft lad. Do you know who I am? Yeah? You work for Meg Holloway? Charlie Tate. You can call me Charlie. What's this about, Charlie? Rachel Baker. What about her? Oh, come on, son. I wasn't born yesterday. Are you looking to get your head kicked in? She's 16. She's not a kid. You try telling her dad that. He'll bloody kill you. I love her, though. You can't stop love. I'm not telling you to stop anything. Just be careful, that's all. Yo, 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 yo. How we get to go back to that place? going towards the tennis courts. Uh, Liz's caravan. Don't touch it. It's fine. It's like a sunburn, but it's a funny shape. Is it sore? I can't feel it at all. Don't fuss over it. I can't believe that you left Kate there. Why won't you tell me what happened? She's probably not even noticed I've gone. Uh, it's really nothing. You're lying. Don't lie to me. Fine. We had a row. She'll work all night anyway. Stephen, listen to me. Was there an accident? Is that how your face got burnt? It's nothing. Something, I don't know. Just got a bit shaken up and then we fought. She wanted to stay and collect more data. Was she burnt as well? Is everything all right? Jesus, Liz, are you sleeping with me or her? She's fine. We're both fine. I don't want to talk about her. I came here to see you. I just worry... Well, don't. Come to bed. So Liz is sleeping with Stephen. Welly, welly, welly. Good rain graphics. Look at that. Uh, right. Look at the kids here. Look, they've made uh, some ramps. I don't even care that he was screwing her. What made me angry was that he treated me like I was too stupid to notice. I dream through the light storm and see the pattern dancing on his skin as he burns. I wake up, the eyes full of liquid light. I'm going to concentrate all five remaining towers on the same point in the sky. If it is establishing conduits for communication, that should create a jump in bandwidth. Kate. Kate knew all about it.
inside. Ah, there it is. Hey, it's just been on the radio that they're closing the roads. Something about the flu? D no one here has flu, Sean. There's no flu here. I overheard Mrs. Graves, and she said another family of Upton left. She said they must have left last night, but the car and all their stuff's still here. Screw this day. There's 15 people up and left in two days. I don't like it. Where's the baby? I love all the different accents in this game. Sean, I don't want to sit around you waiting for it to get worse. I reckon if we leave now, we can get out to the valley before they get their acts together and close the roads. You think so? Yeah, we can go the back roads, through the woods. I'll leave some money on the side for Mrs. Graves. You know her husband isn't back yet either. He's a boozer, right? That's what I've heard. That's a problem anyway. Don't be unkind, Sean. Come on, let's go and get Dylan. He's a boozer. this place I think it was instant I, I know that's no help can you leave me alone there was nothing we could do I'm sorry I'm really sorry Ben I've woken the baby just leave me alone Rachel I'm sorry I'm sorry okay I'll go that way in a sec let me just look in here Oh, a wet teddy. God, look at the rain graphics on the table. For a PS4 game. It's beautiful. Uh, this is going towards the pool, main hall reception. Someone left their washing gate. Let's run through it. Right, whose house is this? Caravan. found it like this? Yeah. I got into the habit of checking in first thing in the morning just to make sure he's had his pills. Mr. Coles is not a well man, Elizabeth. It's entirely possible he upped and wandered off. If things progressed, the mind can be a fragile thing, you know? It's just not very like him, that's all I'm saying, Doctor. He never misses the mid-morning bingo. He didn't smoke, did he? Not that I knew of. There's a funny... It's like ash. Well, that, that is odd. Reese cleaned in here yesterday afternoon. I'll have to have a word. It's not like cigarette ash. Strange. Dr. Wade, there's just been a phone call. We needed back at the village. Apparently, Mrs. Barton has disappeared. Both said they were going to try and leave through the woods, didn't they? Maybe we'll see them up here. seen anything like it. They must be well happy at the observatory place. They're probably all partying there right now. This is right, Post. <laughs> it is. Right. That's me. Short leash. 
kids up half a night, bloody teething. Mrs. will kill me if I'm gone too long. <laughs> Good night, Ned. No, I... Ned. Good night, Ned. Ooh, this one I can go in there. And then... Up and to the left. Somebody always leaves their shampoo, don't they? Also, there's a little barbecue here, I think. Still smoking. slight whispers of the enjoyment in the past. You shouldn't be smoking, you know. Not in your condition. <laughs> Stephen's fault. He got me started again. I'm not going to try and stop you, but the weather's looking pretty rough. There's a storm coming. That's what Stephen said. He said he'll meet me, but there's things he has to do first. He seems to think that all of this is connected to him. I don't know. I I'm going anyway, whether he comes or not. I'm assuming Stephen has thought of a way through the quarantine. Well, he's clever. You gotta give him that. Do you trust him, though? Well, I love him. So I'd hope that was good enough. I hope so, too. Listen, if you can't get through, for whatever reason, I'm uh, getting people together at the village hall, rounding up stragglers, that sort of thing. Yeah, I've got all the campers together here, doing a show. Peter Pan. The kids love it. It'll take their minds off things. Hey, did you see that? that way. Oh, that's really good. Mrs. Graves. Sean's baby Dylan's you alright? He's fine. Dai, come on. It's okay. Let's get you a cup of tea. Mrs. Graves, I need to tell you. Leave it, Dai. Do you try and get out of the valley? All the roads are shut there. I know. I was driving really fast, but the other car was on the wrong side of the road and oh god, I think Dai, he... for fuck's sake, leave it. It's alright. Hey. You're alright. 
Sean's all right, baby Dylan's all right. That is what matters. Everyone's all right. But no. Now, I need your help. Some of the children, they're getting quite frightened. So, Rachel and I, we decided to push forward the show, keep them occupied. You said the other night you play piano. Can you help with that? Yes, yes, I suppose so, but Mr. Graves, Rob... Can look after himself. He's a big boy now. Don't worry. Just head to the hall and find Rachel. She'll tell you what needs practicing. OK, thank you, Mrs. Graves. Yeah, Sean, you. go and find Reese, please, see if he needs some help. Yeah, of course. Go on. I wonder if that was Robert who was in the, um, the truck that went down into the river with the, the branch through the window. And this was the couple that we met on the bridge, if you remember. So she ran him off the road. Good God. And that was Lizzie's husband, Robert. Flipping egg. In the village. You don't think she's gone to look for Mr. Graves, do you? I think Lizzie knows Robert will turn up when he's sober. He'll be all right. Do you want me to go and look for her? No, it's okay. Come on, I promised the kids another shot the last number, then I promised Excuse everyone me. a cup of tea. You're very like her, you know. Like Lizzie. Me? No, I'm not. First chance I get, I'm out of here. God, I've never seen them touch something before. Wow. These things, when I was a kid, if you found a park that had one of these, it was a really good park. You could sit on it and like, they were on springs that you could like rock forwards and backwards really quite violently. It's a sign of a damn good park. And then, and then, and 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 then, and Lake. Yes, Lake. This is a public service announcement from Haverton District Council Emergency Measures Committee. Road and rail closures are being implemented to help contain the outbreak of influenza. Please remain calm and Elizabeth? Lizzie. I've heard a lot about you. It's good, you know, you and Emma, it's not difficult or anything. Should it be? I'm sorry? You said it wasn't difficult. I don't see why it would be difficult. You and Stephen were together a long time ago. We moved away. It certainly isn't difficult for me. I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you or... Well, I'm not offended. Listen, Elizabeth... But I... Lizzie, please. <laughs> Lizzie. Right. You seem like an okay type of person. And I'm not trying to be rude, I promise. But let's try and be realistic here, huh? Let's, um, try and do our best. That's a British thing, right? Yeah, yeah. I suppose it is. We'll do our best then. Wait, wait. 
Which way? Which way? This way. Yeah, exactly. This is. I mean, what? Good lord. Yeah, we're playing through the kind of memories uh, of, of what they've kind of left on the landscape, you know, and um, and it's the same few people. Main hall. This is where we went first, isn't it? Concentrate. Uh, same few people who set the event in motion. Yeah, well, I mean, certainly Kate and Stephen seem to be. right in the thick of it. Um. And they're all related and linked. Okay, this is where we first came, wasn't it? baby, darling child, clouds and starlight, 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 when you wake, you will be mine, starlight, sleep and love, sleeping baby, shadow dust, clouds and starlight, Lambent starlight. When we're called to go, we must into starlight.
happen. There's data coming through faster than I can encode it. I've already lost two processors. They keep burning out. Please, I love you. You need to get out of there. It's not safe. I need you, Stephen. I need you here. I can open the gate manually. I can let you in. It's too dangerous. You don't understand what's happening. No, here. you don't understand. We can solve this. We can find a way. I just need more power. I need to amplify the signal, and I can't do it on my own. You saw the opportunity. You ran the numbers, remember? We're responsible for all this. You and me. <laughs> it's not just you and me anymore, like... though, is it? Jesus, Kate, you're trying to talk to it, aren't you? Kate, you can't. Steven, I have to. Oh, gosh. Beautiful. Not the least bit green, eh, Raven Petals? I think we just went through the night, didn't we? It's completely dead. It won't start. It's only a short walk to the camp. I think we should split up. You go and fetch Rachel. I'll go back to the village and find Evie. I don't think we should split up. I don't want to either, Charlie, but we've got to. I'll meet you back at my house later on, okay? We can talk properly then. Why won't you tell me what happened? No, no, actually, you should stay at the camp tonight. Come and find me in the morning. Bring Rachel back. She's going to need her mother. Meg. The Just voice casting is Meg. brilliant. What is it, Charlie? Nothing. Just be careful, that's all. I will, I promise. You as well. Every time I say Rachel, I think Rachel Amber. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> ah. I mean, I do this to myself. I could be like playing Fortnite or something, or FIFA, you know, like. I mean, it doesn't need it because it is beautiful, but imagine if they did a, a remaster for the PS5 or VR. VR and getting to walk around this place would just be incredible. These games are a lot better than those games you've heard. She's still there, Kate. In the world. I need to see how it adapts. How what adapts? Stephen tried to explain. Lizzie, listen. Be ready. I need to go. It's moving again. I'll call you later. Christ. I wish I could move just a tiny touch quicker.
Do you think she'll like it? It's in an awful state, Stephen. I don't It'll think It'll be an so. adventure. It'll mean putting down roots here, maybe a family. Are you sure she wants children? What, to stay here? It's not her place, you know. Don't start that again, please. I mean, she's ambitious, love, and she's, well, older. She's not going to want to stay cooped up at home looking after this the kids. This is his mum, Wendy, How again, isn't it? About me? Stephen, oh, Wendy. Stop it, Stephen, that's not what I meant, and you know it. I'm just saying you should make a choice. If it's a family you want, well, you know how much Lizzie wants a family. Jesus, Mum, I didn't come here for marriage guidance. I just asked what you thought about a fucking house. Stephen Appleton language! Sorry, it's just that you have to understand. Kate is the most brilliant, extraordinary, wonderful person I've ever known. She's... she's like no one else. The way she looks at things. It's like she has whole worlds inside her head. I don't think you or anyone really understands that. saying it like it's an entity yeah yeah absolutely Ooh, we do get to go inside a pub look the quintessential oh where is the thing the quintessential english pub physical changes are evident Although the butterfly burn is now faded, I can clearly see the change in my pores up close. As I record these words, I can feel myself hearing them as if for the first time, as if I'm both the speaker and listener simultaneously. I am a scientist. I can only deal with the evidence I have. And this points in one simple direction. It's not in the observatory. Oh. Hello. Get many of these phone boxes anymore. Kate, Kate, can you hear me? Listen, I'm trying to make things right. I've isolated myself. I'm in the old bunker at the substation. Just keep this band clear. If it's still alive, I'll try and check in every hour. Kate's in the observatory. Kate, Stephen's gone to the bunker. The I, I didn't know how else to stop it. I couldn't save them. Kate, it's in us, too. I've made arrangements for myself after the strike, after I finish the job. You need to think of that, too. Seventh Whistler. Pub quiz Wednesday, curry and a pint, two quid. Jeepers. Well, this is definitely the early 90s. Fish and chips. <laughs> you look well. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. You do. How are you, Sattler, then? Nothing changes around here. I mean, it's great to be back. It still feels like home, I suppose. In a funny kind of way. It's been a long time, Stephen. Last time you saw me, I could still walk properly. You look pretty good to me. Stop it. For what it's worth, I'm sorry about how things worked out. 
Or didn't. Or didn't, right. Do you think you made a mistake leaving? My mum tells me it's never too late to change things. To put things right. Funny. It's just what she said to me the other day. I have been wondering oh, what she meant God, by that. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, maybe I should go. Why? Stephen, we're both married. I don't think this is a good idea. What isn't? We're just two old friends having a drink, that's all. Oh, come on, Stephen. Three choices of roast, eh? 50p for a pint of ale. Boozer down my road used to go into back when you could smoke in pubs. One of the rooms was like the smoking room, and one was the normal. You smoked in both, but the smoking room you used to walk in, and you just like you couldn't, you couldn't see where the bar was through this, the cancerous smog. <laughs> I do miss it though. Going. We're going up there or there. Should try that way. Oh, there's the thing. Look. Going to Stephen's bunker. Should I come here the 
this was a mistake. What do you want me to say? You knew what you were getting into. Really? Well, I'm sorry we don't measure up to your exacting standards, Dr. Collins. Maybe you just need to give us ordinary humans a break. What? Ordinary humans like Lizzie Graves? Did you really think that I wouldn't find out? Frank told me, or did you forget there's one person in this shithole who actually talks to me? Kate, it was just a dream. Don't bother, Stephen. Oh, for Christ's sake. Kate, slow down. You were engaged to her, Stephen. You nearly married oh, her. Oh, come on, it was just a drink. Then why the hell did you lie to me about because it? Because I knew you'd be mad and then it would end up in a row. You wanted to focus on the event tonight. Oh, so you were actually doing me a favor. Wow, I guess I just forgot to say thank you. Do not treat me like I'm an idiot. You're overreacting. I know, I know you're stressed. Just don't. You idiot. You keep away from me tonight. I'm not gonna let you ruin this for me. Kate. Kate, come on, this is crazy. this down to This way? I'm not sure. Public footpath. Supposed to be going this way. Oh, I hear the thing to the right. Oh no, this can't be it. Look, this is where he crashed his bike before. No, this can't be right. Let me try back up here again. Oh, Stephen, Stephen, Stephen. I do wish I could have a little bit of a jog. This is where we came down. Should we just double back on ourselves and see where that goes? Yeah, 
look, you come up here and the time of the day changes. So this is correct again. Hmm. Carry on up the road, maybe? Your face. Oh. It's nothing. You collecting feed? Looks like the supplies have been coming in. Huh. Again? The phones are all strange. I can't pinpoint the logic of transmission. You what? What are you doing with that paint? Means the EMC are actually moving at the proper speed. Listen, Frank. Have you uh, heard anything on the radio about a flu outbreak? Doesn't seem much like flu to me. They're shutting down access to the valley to try and isolate it. No. Something about the phones. I can't put my finger on it quite yet. What are you talking about? Hey, I'm still talking to you. Where are you going? Petrol station. Lost it, whatever it is. Yep. Where to? Further up. Out going up off that way, okay. A quick look in here. Anything? Then you have to leave. You don't understand. You can't be near me. Painting your stupid little pictures. Stealing food. You always were a little prick. Please, every second we're in proximity makes it worse. I'm a primary conduit. You're a fucking disgrace. Come here. Don't what touch the me. Hell Get is off. What's going on? Come in here. Lord. Jesus, Get out Sam. Over us. Thinking you're so much better Sam, than the rest of us. No physical you contact. You stupid fucking missing. She's it. better than any of you. <laughs> Sam? Meg, please. Don't, don't come near me. Meg! <laughs> Charlie! Meg! Meg, wait! Don't touch Meg. me! Please, you have to understand. It was an accident. Let go. Let's just go. 
Charlie, you have to understand, it was an accident. Just leave him. Leave him! What have you done, Appleton, you bastard? Come on, Charlie, let's Vex, just get Charlie, out of here! please! Use the signals from the optical array. I just... I just hope I can make it. No trains. I've put up a sign. The tunnel, Howard. Is it closed? I think so. I don't like it. It's not right at all. Stop whining. It doesn't help anyone. Did you know you're bleeding? Oh, it's this headache. It's just killing me. I haven't had a nosebleed like this since I was a kid. But you've not been to the village? No, I've been here the last couple of days or at home. I've only spoken to Clive at the EMC on the phone. Well, tried to anyway, but with all the cross lines... It'd be... But no direct contact with any other people? No, no one. What are you talking about? What's going on? It's the pattern. It's adapted again. It doesn't need direct contact to transfer. It's using the phones. What do you mean, direct contact? Stephen! Train station. I won't tell what I was just whistling then. I think it was the Shrek music. Da 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 do 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 I think that's the Shrek music. Across the tracks, that's very dangerous. Stephen, I don't know if you'll ever listen to this. Uh, maybe you've decided to stay with Kate, and I, I can't blame you for that. Oh, it's Lizzie. But I can't wait for you either. I've got to think about the baby. And, well, <laughs> I should have left a long time ago. I've run out of excuses for not leaving now. But I do love you, Stephen. And I hope you find peace one way or another. Oh, there's planes coming.
going along the wires. Stephen's bunker. When I was a kid, my dad found a fox. It had been hit by a car and couldn't walk anymore. My mum would spare, of course. Made him keep it in the shed. He was already slipping away from us then. He spent hours with that fox, telling it all about Italy and the villages they bombed there. I was... I was jealous, I think. But the fox got more of my dad than I did. But it was dying, that was clear. So one day, I snuck out, took it a sandwich for food. I was only eight. When it bit me, I remember the anger, the shock, the hurt. Running in, screaming from the garden, my mum panicking about rabies. My dad beaten to death with a spade. I found him crying. I done a Ken, son. That's what he said. I done a Ken, it was hurting you. That's just a poor, dumb, dying animal. It doesn't know it's hurting us. Christ help us, it's left the valley. It's everywhere now. It's been three hours since the planes went over. I haven't been able to reach anyone on the shortwave. I'm beginning to think I may have made a terrible miscalculation. Oh, so you've got to go, mate. It, um, but I'll, I'll put it up on, on my YouTube channel so you can always um, finish it off on there. From me. You made me do things I never even thought I was capable of. But if you think I'm coming with you... Kate? Wait. Stop. Kate.
This is Catherine Collins. I don't know if anyone will ever hear this. It's all over. I'm the only one left. This is it. Kate. Plane, Stephen leaned across me and pointed out of the window. Down there, he said. That's home. But all I saw were patches of color. I don't think until this moment that I understood that one could contain the other so completely. Catherine Collins is your boss's name. one down there look this is number three I want that one down there I watched a butterfly dancing in a strip of sunlight. All of its life contained in a single day. The blink of an eye between the ebb of the darkening tide. Lying there with the pattern curled around me, I saw the inevitability, the necessity of presence born from absence, the constant unfolding. I know it didn't mean to hurt any of them. I try and explain why Lizzie tried to leave with her child and why it was wrong to stop her. I try and explain that much of what it did was wrong. It shows me Stephen and Lizzie together. And I'm happy for them. Frank walks his fields with Mary. Wendy and Edward nest together in the orchards of their love. Jeremy lies at peace with his God at last. All of them are happy. 
because they are together. I understand it better now. It is a collector of time. Of butterflies. It's a collector of time. Watched the pattern lean in and time slow to almost nothing. I saw the flame leap from Stephen's hand and the moment hang in the air forever. I watched his face. And in the last second, I almost believe he saw me. He wasn't frightened or angry. I remember his expression. Just like I remember it from the first time, early that morning when he woke and still half sleeping, said, God, I love you. And I loved him as he entered the fire. And I let him go, knowing I wasn't ready to join him. We have held time to ourselves here in this place held the light to the ground because you, we were afraid Bettles. of the coming dark. But now we understand that to cling to the light is not living. I've spent my life watching the illumination from a million dead stars reaching for me without grasping this meaning. The light we cast transcends our death. The pattern made by our living creates a bridge across the dark. out from the shadow of the tower across the observatory over the valley and consumes the world everything is light now everything has come to rest the world is scored by the traces we carved into it our presence is everywhere the bridge joining our stories this world existed before we came to it and it will continue without us in the empty fields and houses our traces radiate, and others will come to dance in the light we cast. We can slip away gently, unafraid, knowing that everything will continue.
the end is coming now. I'm not afraid. We have each other. We lived apart from them. We understand now our failure to touch, to belong. But it doesn't matter anymore. Everybody is gone. And we will join them. We are born apart. Driftwood on the banks of an endless dark ocean, and we will be carried away by the swell soon enough. But in between, in the single day of living, that dancing in a strip of sunlight, we can find what we miss. The love that makes us whole. The imminence. Everybody found their other. This pattern is mine. Wow, what a game. <clears throat> so the plan very much was to kind of do this in a couple of plays, but I just couldn't stop. It's really interesting. It's, um... A person's called Art Buller. Um... It's really interesting how each um, protagonist that you followed, in their final moments, they reconnected with the most important person, you know? Which is what Kate sort of said at the end there, you know? Lizzie spoke to Stephen. Um, Wendy, is it, spoke to her husband. Like everyone in that final moment reconnected really interesting what a unique way of kind of um, telling a story as well you know all those characters that we've met and listened to and had feelings about and spoken we never saw them once you know we never got to see them so it was really interesting just listening to people it's a really unique thing especially for a video game that's visual mm. okay well I do it to myself I play these games uh, as I was saying before I could play FIFA and Fortnite and stuff and just have a lovely old time but no I play these types of games um, I think the journey is uh, better um, it does mean I always have to end up I end the streams heading off to the park to have a little walk around and think it through a couple of those got me a little bit you know I think the idea of I think it was Wendy's you know the mum in those final whatever hours or whatever going off trying to find her son and reconnecting with her lost husband and all that that was you know, I think different parts of this will mean different things to whoever plays it you know and if you you played longer than me or if you, you're going to go and play along uh, at a later time you know I think the different stories might mean different things to you but um, I think Lizzie's was really touching well they were all touching you know the, the farmer reconnecting with his lost wife in her final moments he wasn't there for her he went to the pub because he couldn't deal with it you know and then going up the hillside with his gun uh, the music score all the way through this is absolutely astonishing um, I don't know whether the 
whole thing could be muted or not, I don't know. But um, it was, you know, really, really beautiful to have that choral music thread. And getting to discuss, like walking around those village, you know, <clears throat> even if you put the story to one side and just enjoyed walking around the village, it was really beautiful. Um, I especially love that start dropping down into Yauten, Yauten, Yauten. Um, and get into a little walk around the houses and a real flashback to my childhood um, kind of going on holidays and that kind of stuff and ending up in those kind of quintessential English villages um, okay I'll stop there uh, I'm going to have a think thank you so much if you uh, came along on the journey on Twitch with me uh, thank you very much it's always lovely to have your company if you could give me a a follow that'd be nice um if you're watching this on youtube uh, you give me a like and a subscribe it really helps me out on the channel uh, so other than that have a fantastic day and we're back tomorrow or the day after with a new play along once i've decided what that is if you have any ideas for great games that would make great play alongs uh, leave me a comment drop me a message um, and i'll see if we can do that but for today have a wonderful day and thank you for coming along on this Play along.